Hi there. In this video, we will discuss the highlights of the blog post YOLO V6 Object Detection, Paper Explanation and Inference. Let's check out what's new in YOLO V6, how to carry out inference and compare the results. But first, how is YOLO V6 different from other YOLO networks? YOLO V6 is an anchor-free object detection model. It improves the inference speed and generalizability on diverse dataset. The YOLO V6 model architecture is also altered fundamentally. It uses efficient reparameterized backbone, also known as efficient rep. For nano, tiny and small models, it uses rep VGG, which is a modified version of VGG with skip connections, just like in ResNets. The skip connections are used during the training phase, but the weights for the skip connections are fused for inference to make the model faster. Up to twice the memory can be saved by converting the residual network to linear. The rep blocks are also introduced to the neck. Due to this, the neck is called Reparameterized Path Aggregation Network or REPPAN. Further, it uses decoupled heads for classification and regression. Combining all these, we get the entire YOLO v6 architecture. During training, YOLO v6 uses varifocal loss for classification. For box regression, it uses IOU series loss and distribution focal loss. Varifocal loss is derived from focal loss. Apart from weighing easy and hard examples separately, it also treats negative and positive samples at different degrees of importance. When the overlap between the predicted bounding box and the ground truth is high, say 0.8, then VFL gives more importance to foreground point, whereas it tries to suppress the background classes. The bounding box regression uses DFL. The idea is very interesting. Distributed focal loss models the location of the bounding boxes as general distribution instead of points. Doing so forces the network to focus on learning the probabilities of values closer to the target coordinates. This is particularly helpful when the boundaries of boxes are not clear due to occlusion shadow or blurring. For example, instead of predicting a point for the bounding box locations, it is predicting the distribution as shown in the graphs. The YOLO v6 models are hosted by Meteon and can be found on the GitHub page. To run inference, provide the source to the input file, the part to the pre-trained weights, select between GPU and CPU, and set a custom confidence threshold. If we pass a view image flag, it will display the output. Otherwise, it will silently save the output to disk. As the model size increases, the average precision also increases, but the single image inference speed decreases. As inferred from the graph, YOLO v6 constantly outperforms other YOLO models. As the training epochs increase, there is a considerable increase in the MAV value as well. The quantized small model runs faster than its non-quantized counterpart, with a little trade-off in the MAV score. Do you want to know how YOLO v7 works? Yes, that's the topic of our upcoming video. We will show how to train and run inference on YOLO v7 in the coming videos. Do subscribe to get notified for our latest videos. Now, let's check out some inference results that we get after running YOLO v6 models on some videos. This video shows the output of YOLO v6 nano, small, medium and large models on a GTX 1060 GPU. It is pretty clear that the nano model is running the fastest at more than 160 fps, but the large model is the most accurate and is able to detect the backpack in almost all the frames. Also, it is detecting the people who are far off with more confidence. In the next video, we compare the YOLO v6 small model with YOLO v5 small, medium and small p6 models. As expected, the YOLO v5 medium model is running the slowest but it is the most accurate as well. Moreover, the YOLO v6 small model while running at 85 fps on the GPU is giving pretty good results. Comparing the YOLO v6 nano model against the YOLO v5 models on the CPU, we see that it is giving pretty good results in real time. In fact, in some frames, it is making less mistakes even compared to the YOLO v5 small model. So, that's all about YOLO v6, its inference and results. I hope you found it informative. If you're curious to learn more, head to our playlist section where you can find a dedicated playlist on the YOLO series. We would feel very encouraged if you could like, comment, subscribe for more such knowledge enhancing stuff. Until the next video, thank you.